going to come to that topic. How I don't know, many of them do not know that some people from the autopilot who claim to be IPOB presently has been sentenced by the Nigerian government to five, five years imprisonment. That was on 24th of July, 2020, 2024. But they are quiet. have you heard it anywhere? Are you aware that there are people presently sentenced in the Wawa prison in Abuja over IPOB activities, things that have never happened in IPOB. Things that have never happened in IPOB over 12 years, we are in this struggle. But the activities of people like this have pushed our people. Mazi, presently, as I'm talking to you, on 24th July, you know, you remember last time the military came out and said that they have arrested over 300 and something IPOB members, which we know they are not IPOB members, and that they killed over 180 in the Southeast region. You saw the news. And the IPOB, we responded. Now, do you know what the Nigerian government did? In a quest to want to prove and tarnish the image of IPOB, on 24th, on 24th of July, the Nigerian government, because we are putting much pressure that the names of these people must be made known. What they did now, the Nigerian military requested the Nigerian government, the Attorney General of the Federation, formed a legal council. This legal council, they sent them to the Wawa prison. I want everybody to pay attention here now. They went to the Wawa prison. Now they give them some private lawyers trying to convince them, you know, we are trying to settle things. The only way you can come out is you plead guilty. And these three people, I can mention their names so that their friends will be very, very aware. It's very, very important so that their friends, if their family members can listen, because they, th those who sent them will never inform them. Those who sent them we will never inform them what have happened to their people. These were people that was misbehaving, even in Iwacha. The first person is Emeka Adiele Ezemwa, Emerson Roland, Edet, Edet. The reports in our disposal inform us that they were arrested in Iwacha. And they claim to be IPOB coordinators. And they are, they are in no way, as I mentioned the name, if anybody can come out, because IPOB have taken the responsibility from on that particular date, we have gone through all our IPOB family coordinators. Nobody knows them. Somebody said, oh, one of these guys may be, is those I have heard name is one of these other pilot guys. They were sentenced on 24th to five, five years imprisonment. Moise, Ma I, have, I have something to add there. Okay. I have something to add there. You know these auto criminals, what they did is this. They can gather two, three persons, and they will be calling themselves autopilots. Yes. What I'm listening. All right. They will be calling themselves autopilot IPOB. And they will be holding meetings. They will be holding meetings with people. And they will be playing the voice. Go ahead, what I'm hearing you. Go ahead. They will be playing the voice and video of uh, the criminal in Finland. And when they are caught, they will now say they are IPOB. That is how it happened. Exactly, Wada. This group of people, they were sentenced on 24th. They are a group of these auto criminals. Because as I'm speaking, anybody from Iwacha, 
can bear us witness, we do not have these names as coordinators. And uh, we traced out that it was somebody in America who was following the case up. It is part of this sort of criminals. No need to mention her name. She know herself. But since, do you see what IPOB have been fighting for? Now, they are being sentenced as IPOB members. But they are not IPOB. And they do not be surprised that by the time we, the, the legal, the judiciary will come back, do not be surprised by the time the judiciary will return back for their, for their recess, maybe this 300 and something, they might have sentenced all of them in the name they are sentencing IPOB members. If you see, these were the dangers we were trying to stop. These were what they were trying to do. At the end of the day, finally, the Nigerian government and you see the Wawa prison where they are kept. They say it is only one way to go there. Even you can't visit them. One of our brother, the one that came out last time, who was a lawyer who attended Mazen Namdekanu's case. Just three years, you see how he looks like when he comes out there. From, from the stories we heard inside the Wawa prison, they say it's only one road that leads to that place. And Boko Haram is along the road. So only the military goes to that particular prison yard and a convoy, which the, the Boko Haram may not likely attack them. They cross that road and go to that prison. In that prison, they say it is nine blocks, 15 people per room. They eat once, sometimes in a day, once in two days. They, they see water once in two days or once in three days. They go to toilet. You will be looking at your toilet for the 15 people, they will be looking at the toilet for two days before they will bring water to flush it. The brother that came out from there last time, everybody see how he looks like. You don't see anybody. What you hear is only voices inside the Wawa prison. So Nigerian government, what we are saying, the human rights groups, Amnesty International, the Nigerian government cannot set up a legal council to go inside the military barracks and continue to try their friends irrespective of who they are. After all, the military do not have right to keep people in detention. According to their Armed Forces Act, if they arrest somebody, they have to send them, hand it over to the police or for the SS to bring them to court. But this time, they kept them in that place, bringing legal team to try them inside that place and sentence them. So those guys now, they, caught on they, they, they say they caught them last year. Now they sentence them to five years. They are expecting to come out in 2028 if they will come out alive. And I heard that the minimum sentence they said they're going to give any one of them there is two years, depending them. And the people have no access to, uh, to, to lawyers. They have no access to any than the ones Nigerian government. And they say those private uh, lawyers, the government provide for them just only comes to them to tell them accept just plead guilty so that the case is highest one year or two years after we will see they we make appeal they release you now the nigerian government have gotten what they want just to sentence some group of people in the name of ipob and this is what ipob must rise up if nigerian government is sentencing these people in the name of ipob we are not going to take it if you are an IPOB member, absolutely, Marzi. Absolutely. We are not going to.